How's it going guys? Sam from Mindac here. Today we're going to be going perch fishing. I haven't really fished for them in the spring a whole lot before. I've just caught them by accident. This is actually going to be my first time from like legit targeting them in the springtime. So it's going to be interesting. So before we get into today's video, this video is sponsored by the Guggen Squad. So if you guys want to go check them out, I'll leave the link down below. If you guys want to go use any of their baits that we're using today or any of the Mondo optics that we used to sight fish these little suckers, um, I'll leave the link down below and use code Mindac at the checkout to save 15% off. So if you guys want to go check them out, the link is down below. Anyway, we're gonna get right into this video and we're gonna go head out and I'll see you guys at the lake. I am wearing the Guggen Mondo Optics and the Largy Lookers actually. You got a whole bunch of other ones. They got the smally spotters. They got a whole bunch of other selection. If you guys want to go cop a pair of these sunglasses, I'll leave the link down below. But I can see in this water because it's crystal clear and um, these polarized glasses help a lot. So we might be sight fishing a couple of these. I already see one little perch. Oh, I see two perch actually. You guys won't be able to see them, but there's some nice perch right there. Um, I'm gonna get out here. I'm gonna get rigged up. I'm gonna put the chest on and I'll see you guys on the GoPro. Well, my buddy Shep finally made it down and we've seen about 30 perch following in his little, what is this, Rapala jerkbait looking thingy. Jerk but uh, he's been throwing that. It's a little big. And we just see a million perch coming in. But guess what? I forgot the GoPro at home. So I don't really know what to do. This video might be a botch. Uh, I'm just gonna set the big camera up and hopefully you guys can get some decent shots. But anyway, here, this star has got a jig with a little Guggen Bait Saucy Swimmer, 3.3 inches, and uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna work with. And then the other rod we guess got a crappy rig, and uh, we're gonna sell some minnows on there, see if that does anything. But I'm gonna go get that set up, and I'll see you guys after. Fishing with no GoPro today is kind of tough, but we got crappy rig right here. We're just gonna send it out there, and hope for the best. That's gonna do it. There we go. Here we got this little rod right here with the little plastic. We're just gonna pass the net around. Letting it sink to the bottom, and then we're gonna be hopping her off and giving her some slow reels and see if that goes anywhere. On. Oh god, yeah. Shep's on, boys. Let's go. Oh god, yeah. Show that one to the camera. Don't want you to use them, All right, boys. That's a keeper. Right? Uh, yeah, probably. There we go. Fish. There's a perch. There's Look at that little mimic. Little mimic minnow. We're gonna throw her in the bucket. There you go. <laughs> You. All right, well, Shep, good job. I'm proud. Well, Tanner's hooked up again while I was trying to set up the camera. You want to show the people what you caught there, Shepherdson? Nice, beautiful one right there, baby. Here we go. Finally on. Decent one too. Oh. Is it a walleye? Yep. Nice little Walter right there. He's gonna go back in the water. We're after some perch, man. You get another one? Oh, there we go. Are you kidding me, dude? Wow. Another walleye, boys. I, wa I watched this one eat and he absolutely denied it. <laughs> There we go, another little guy. He's gonna go back in. What? Like other, there we go. Please see a perch. Just kidding, dude. Boys, I don't know what's happening, but another little freaking walleye. Don't really know what that's Well, clearly I suck at perch fishing because I can't catch one. Tanner caught two. He's doing pretty good. I, on the other hand, suck. But we got the man, the myth, Justin. You guys have seen him in John's videos, ice fishing, and I think one other walleye video maybe. maybe. But he is the perch god. He is going to tell us what to use, what to do, what happens. We got two so far. They keep biting short. They keep nipping the tails. I don't know what to do. We'll figure it out. All right, well, you guys heard the man. If he hooks up, I'll bring the camera over because I'm a big dumb idiot. I forgot the GoPro, but we're gonna keep fishing, see if we can't catch any more. You guys just hold on tight and stay tuned. Another little walleye. How long is it gonna take us to do that? Not what we wanted, but it it's a little gupper. Dive? We're gonna get him back in the water. All right, everybody, I'm going home. Why are you going home? Because I have to go put my docks in my lake cabin. Small. Come on, man. Ditch me. You, at least you caught two perch. I'll be back. I'm happy you caught two perch. Way to go. Well, Tanner's leaving me because I have better things to do with his life, 
And uh, I'm still sitting at zero perch. We got like five walleyes. Justin has got a big old goose egg on the board right now, yeah. but him and I are gonna stick it out here a little bit longer. See if we can't catch any more perch or walleyes. But uh, you guys hold on tight, and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Cheese and rice, boys. There we freaking go. Finally got one. Up. Oh, we got a double. Justin's hooked up. Perch? Yeah. Heck yeah. Oh no. Oh, Justin just lost his. <laughs> Rip. Rip. But here's my little guy. He's not that little he's probably nine nine and a half inches nice little eater though and uh, he's gonna be in the bucket that is our third fish finally got one hook and i just doubled up so maybe they're starting to bite who knows i don't really know but there's a nice healthy little perch right there he's gonna go in the bucket and i'll see you guys in just a little bit Big, big? Oh boy. Hey, this is a good fish. Really? A poppy. Oh yeah, that's a nice 23, we'll 22. And we go to 21. Ooh, oh, just that's 20. an under. Dang, I thought she was a little over. Well, I guess I was wrong, but, but that's a solid 18 inch, or what was it, 19? About 19, three quarters. quarters. Yeah, that's, that's not a bad one right there. Oh God, yeah, way to go. On what, minnow jig head? Yep. Well, Justin just caught a nice walleye. Hopefully, we can catch a few more of those and maybe a few more perch. I just need one more perch for a decent meal for myself, that is. And, uh, well, we're gonna keep fishing, see what happens. You guys just hold on tight and we'll see if we can't catch any more perch. There we go. Another little Walter on the saucy swimmer, baby. Nothing better. Came right out. Here we go. Here we go. That's a better fish. Oh yeah. Nice walleye. Oh god yeah, there we go. Finally got a nicer looking walleye there. He is probably about 16 inches. Well I made it back up here to the car and there's some honkers flying by. Sorry if they're a little bit loud. But I'm gonna go ahead home. I got enough fish for myself to eat. And shout out to Tanner for hooking me up with two perch that he caught. And uh, well Justin actually, he's still slapping them. He's still catching a lot of fish down there. So I'm gonna head back home, clean these perch, and uh, we're gonna grill them. I'm gonna see you guys back at the house. Well I finally made it back here to the house and I'm gonna go clean the fish here in just a second. But look who's out here. It's Daisy. How you doing puppy? You're looking cute. Yeah, you are. How's it going? How's my favorite dog? Good girl. So, some of you guys have been wondering where the rabbits are. Well, they're outside now. Look at Jim. He's being a little cutie. He's just got done drinking some water. But look at that. He's just being cute. And then we got Pam over here. Pam's just kind of doing her own thing. Um, yeah, we're going to let them rip out here in just a second. But, as you guys can tell, we added a latch here. So, if... It like a coon or something does tip this over, they won't be they won't be able to open this hopefully. Which I mean they I mean it might open a little bit, but not enough for them to get a little Jim and Pam in here. They're pretty secure, and we got a little zip tie here that hopefully will keep them uh, alive here. But so far they're doing well. It's been about two weeks since they've been out here, a week or so, and they've just been chilling, living their best lives. Daisy's still roaming around doing Daisy things. I'm gonna go clean these fish, and I'll see you guys after. Well, I just got done cleaning all the fish, and we actually got quite a bit of meat, a lot more meat than I expected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna freeze some of it, and then tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon I'm gonna grill some because it's gonna be lovely out. Well, I don't want to do it right now because it is getting dark, as you can tell. The sun is way below setted, so I'm gonna do this tomorrow. So we'll catch you guys in the morning. Okay, so it is now the next day and well it's kind of rainy not looking too hot outside i'm planning on grilling the fish i haven't grilled fish in a long time and uh, it used to be really fire i am gonna go start the grill up we got the charcoal grill i need to get her all rigged up and then ready to go so i'm gonna get the charcoal started let those burn until they're you know coals and then we're gonna go put the fish on and i'll see you guys in just a little bit
All right, we're gonna let that kind of do its own thing. So you're gonna need about two and a half feet of uh, tin foil or whatever you would like, however length you would like. But we got some perch in there. We got some perch fillets underneath and we seasoned both sides of it and we just took some butter and scraped it across as you can see right there for the back side and seasoned both sides. We seasoned it with salt, pepper, garlic powder and then we added some paprika and some seasoned salt and uh, that's basically it. So once you get that all covered with the fish on both sides, you put them down on here, then you put onions, peppers, we got, they're just regular bell peppers, just red and yellow ones, uh, onions, and we put butter on top to kind of make it, you know, all juicy. Then you can add some lemon and lime juice if you're feeling really special, and that's what I did. And uh, hopefully it turns out well. I don't really know what to do, but we're gonna let that sit like that, fold it up. When the grill is all heated up, we're gonna throw it on the grill. Alrighty, so. The grill's already ready, I got a piece of chicken on there. Just because my mom wanted me to throw a piece of chicken on there. I don't know what the strat was. But, we got the fish, and, and the coals are all ready. So, we're gonna take our lovely tin foil, place her, chicken can move a little bit, eh? She's taking up a lot of space. All right, there we go. That's what we're gonna do. We are just gonna now close this. Open this up a little bit. Shouldn't take too long for the fish to cook. Probably about, Five minutes at the most on each side. Um, I'm, I'm thinking a little bit less though. And then it's pretty hot. So I don't really know how long it's gonna take, but uh, you guys just hold on tight and I'll pick up the camera when they're done. All right, the fish and the tortillas just got done. We're gonna go bring them inside and muck these little guys. First, we're gonna let them cool down just for a little bit because they are hot. All right, there we go. That is our fish right there. It's got a little fogged up there, but that is our fish and onions and peppers. Then we get our tortillas over here. There has to be a better way. Maybe I should even be using a spoon. I don't know. But we're just gonna put some of that there. Take half of this guy right here. Oh yeah, okay, that's plenty. Now we're gonna try and get some of this pepper and onions. Take a little bit of cheese. Sprinkle it on. Take some of the salsa. Do a little dabble. It's one taco right there. All right, we're just gonna fold it up. All right, here's to a great perch fish taco that Tanner contributed to. So cheers to you guys, and uh, we're gonna go right in. Mmm. That is killer. Wow. Wow, I haven't had grilled fish in a long time. Let me tell you, grilled fish is something that's special. It doesn't really taste like anything else for fish, but it's freaking fire. And then the peppers and onions make it. And the salsa, oh, so good. Holy cow, that was good. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna go back inside, eat the rest, and then I'm gonna come back out here and give you guys an outro. But look at that. There's a little rabbit. You see this little rabbit, the little rabbit tail just bumping up and down over there, yep. It's not Pam or Jim, so don't worry. That rabbit's just living its own life. So, I hope you guys liked today's video. Um, I've never really caught perch in the spring before, like I said, and nor did I really do that well. Mostly Tanner caught most of the fish. I caught a lot of little walleyes. Don't know why, what that strat was. But anyway, I just wanted to switch up the pace a little bit because, you know, we've been doing walleye fishing a lot and the walleye bite is starting to pick up really hot now. And I just wanted to do something different. I wanted to catch a little bit different species and I wanted to cook a little bit different. I haven't grilled fish in a long time. I don't think we've ever grilled fish on the channel before, actually. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any grilling fish recipes for me, leave a comment down below or any recipes just in general. I just want to say thanks for tuning into this video and we'll catch you guys on the next one.